I'm Andre Barbieri. I'm Greg Krause. And I'm on the road to Rio with Team Possibilities. I had joined the military and uh, I had joined early. I had joined at 16 and so I had been in it for a few years. Uh, I, had, I was doing halfway through my tour and things were good. I was seeing the world and I was experiencing life and uh, uh, I was proud to be a soldier and I'm still proud to have served my country. And then uh, I made some choices to uh, finish guard duty and then go downtown. It was just kind of a turn of events. I could have taken one more tour of duty and uh, not been where I was when I had my accident, but I decided to take the weekend furlough and I went downtown and I uh, was hanging out with some friends and while we were crossing the street, a drunk driver uh, hit me as a pedestrian and uh, shattered my leg, uh, my femur above, and shattered my hips and uh, destroyed my stomach and the lower leg was mangled. And so after extensive surgeries and piecing me back together in physical therapy and great work at the, at the military hospitals, they got me back on my feet. I'm from Brazil, uh, moved to the U.S. five years ago and I've always been very athletic. And then as I was on a snowboarding trip with my brother about a year and a half ago, a little over that, I had a pretty bad accident on the very first run. I went to do a top turn and something caught my rail and then I lost balance and I went straight to a wooden fence. The fence it was in an angle and it hit my femur right above the knee. It hurt just everything, the femoral artery, the, all the nerves, and it was pretty bad. So, uh, about five days later, I had to amputate my leg. I like life, I enjoy life. It just wasn't the way I had imagined it. It changes everything. I was putting my shoes that morning, and after I hit my femur, it was just never the same. The drowning voice in my head always said, why me? It takes a while to sink in. It affects everything and everyone around you. My dad said if he could cut his leg instead of mine, he would have. And it's sad to hear that. It was seven years. It was from, uh, it was from uh, basically 24 to 31. And th those were the years that I, I fought my battle with uh, just, uh, I, I, it wasn't just alcohol. It was just my social, I could not relate to other people. I didn't feel I was equal or even or as good because I was missing a piece, you know, and I didn't, it took me years to realize it wasn't the piece here, it was the piece here that, that I finally resurrected myself and reinvented myself as a, as a whole person. You just gotta learn how, how to cope with it. You accept the situation and adapt to it. As bad it is, it is losing a leg, there's so much good stuff happening that I feel blessed. It's, it's pretty crazy. You feel like you're different now and everyone embraces that and they're always ready to help. And then it just got to the point where um, when I got into sports, people would feed my confidence level and my ego by saying, you know, you're amazing. It felt good. And so I, I started to talk to other people like myself that you can do this and this is how you can do it. And that's what started to get me out of that. Why me? As I, I mentored other athletes and I mentored other uh, veterans, that started to change from why me to this is why me. This is where I'm supposed to be. After I had the, the accident, I just had the biggest dream ever, something I never thought before. But now that I lost my leg, 
it turned into a possibility that could happen. My dream is to be in the Paralympics in 2016 in Rio as a triathlete. I really couldn't compare team possibilities with anything else because they're kind of an anomaly. They're, they're a program willing to help for nothing. We're here to help you. Possibilities is a program at Loma Linda that provides new direction and hope for those in our community with a disability. Possibilities makes my dreams that I never even had before, they make it possible, they make it happen. Like a running leg, a biking leg, they fuel my dreams. We work to be a place where you can come to find resources that you need to realize these dreams and to just be that support to say, I really believe you can do this. I believe in you. They've been a blessing in my life. I'm chasing my Paralympic dream right now and I'm dedicated to that. Every step of the way, if I need something, I need a training boat, I have a training boat. I needed racks to get the boat from race to race to race. They, they, they stepped up. We're sponsoring our athletes in a way that we never have before. We have Paralympic hopefuls that are Possibilities members. And so what we're doing is something called Road to Rio, and it's really a Paralympic training program that is designed to support them with the equipment, the training, and the travel needs, a full spectrum of resources that they need to be able to have a chance at being successful. They are partnering with me for my dream. Currently, I am ranked number one in the United States as the LTA V1 rudderless paddler. LTA is legs, trunk, and arms. It's a tenuous number one. Every year you must requalify, and uh, I held this uh, position in 2010. I lost it in 2011, and I regained it in 2012, and I do not plan on giving it up in 2013. I want to go to Rio so bad. My dream is, is what consumes me right now. So that, that right there is the dream. Being in the Paralympics in my home country, how awesome would that be? Just having the whole vibrating country behind you. What it will mean to me is I get to represent the United States. This is the new way that I serve my country. I can't be a soldier any longer, even though I'll always be a retired veteran. This is how I can serve my country and proudly wear the USA canoe kayak emblem. It's become just my, my driving force. Team Possibilities is instrumental in helping me succeed in my dreams. If I make it to Rio in 2016, it will be my biggest accomplishment in life. That's how much it means. Having possibilities in my life is just I, I'm part of something bigger than myself. You feel like there's no limits 